State lawmakers looking to revamp several laws regarding sex crimes and voyeurism. An incident at the state capitol has highlighted a legal loophole regarding upskirting. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis showing us live from the Hartford newsroom tonight. So, Mark, some pretty, pretty powerful testimony on this today, yeah? That's right. Hi, Scott. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford newsroom. Lawmakers are looking to eliminate the statute of limitation for certain sex crimes, and they're also looking to close that legal loophole that has been discovered because of certain incidents of upskirting. It's a little nerve wracking to be here today to testify in people that I work for and with, and to feel the utter embarrassment and shame that I'm the one that this happened to. <laughs> Legislative staffer Erica Pocock was relating an upskirt incident that happened on an escalator at the state capitol, an incident that was captured on a security camera, clearly showing a male staffer placing a cell phone under her skirt between her legs, followed by a flash. At the end of the day, the most Christian thing was to stay in court and hear that what he did was not punishable by law. The male staffer was allowed to resign, but apparently was accused of other incidents at nearby retailers. But because of a loophole in the law, faced no serious penalty because upskirt in a public space is considered in plain view. You're only protected if you are in a dressing room or a bathroom. So if you were going up the escalator and someone were to take a picture of you under your skirt, you're not entitled right now to your privacy because that's considered plain view. Carrie Fasone, a teacher from Cromwell, also testified to lawmakers today on another proposal to extend the statute of limitations for rape, telling lawmakers she was raped 23 years ago when she was 19 and it has caused over two decades of trauma. It took a long time to get where I am now, able to speak about this damaging event publicly, and I now see the full effect of the trauma on me and on my family. Now, the proposal that Carrie was testifying about would eliminate the statute of limitation for Class B and Class C felony sexual assault, and for adult victims, it would raise it from the current five to 25 years. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.